Hey guys, Jeff here from Plain Outdoors. Uh, we're here at uh, Lake Newell, and man, is it windy. Sorry for the lighting, and also you'll probably hear all the wind, so you're probably not gonna hear what I'm gonna be saying, but man, is I, it, the wind's blowing me, and uh, we had to put a rope out so I can actually go up wind. I have left my spikes at home, stupid me, and uh, right now it's just hard to sit here and just uh, jig. So we basically uh, set up a bunch of uh, jaw jackers to do the jigging for us. It's, it's, it's really windy, like I said, and also it's, but it's plus 12, but the winds are like 67 kilometers gusting. There's no one out here, and I think I know why. We're stupid enough to come out, but hey, it's Monday, it's better than working at all, so. But hopefully this uh, turns out to be a good uh, video um, for for Lake Newell. And um, I'll show you how all of our setup is, so just uh, stay tuned. We're back. Here I got, I got, I got, I got. Show the viewers what you're doing. Setting up a jaw jacket. Tossing on one of these guys. Bass Pro. Is that salted? Nope. Regular. Regular minnows. Some shiners. off ground. The auto jigger. Oh, oh, you got one, you got one. You got one. Oh. It's on. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. 
Big perch, big perch, big perch. Like. So after two, three hours at Jackfish Bay at Lake Newell, we landed about four pike and a handful of perch, very small perch. The wind picked up even faster and it got pretty sketchy. Um, the wind was going towards where we um, drove onto the ice. So uh, there was about, I would say seven or eight inches of floodwaters right where we entered the, the lake. So we had to leave. So we left and we just went up to um, our normal spot on Lake Newell right off of the resort. And um, sorry, not the resort, the, um, the campground. And uh, we fished our, our normal spot there, looking for the, a, a good point, r roughly around 20 feet, 15 to 20 feet, um, looking for that walleye. Um, Lake Newell holds a lot of good sized walleye, and that's what we're after. And um, hopefully, we can uh, get into that. Um, stay tuned. Okay, we're here at our new spot here, Lake Newell. Uh, let's see how we do. Let's see if we can find that, that walleye. That's what I told you. Make sure it's touching the floor. You just changed it. Just it. Bang, yeah. Because <laughs> you just moved it. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy crap. I thought it was a pike. Because it was, it was, it was wrapped around. It was taking it like a pike. Well, not much for head shakes. No, no, not at all. And it wrapped around the, your uh, leader, right? Because I was trying, I was unraveling it. Oh, I Because I could feel it unravel. That's why I was unraveling little by little. A few moments later. On a Can I grab it? Holy crap! Oh, oh, look what I got! <laughs> look what I got! Yo! That's what's yeah. up! 
Yeah. You saw the tank and everything, Bob. I saw the tank and everything. Damn. Get him back. Well, this is where I'm going to end the video. Uh, this has been a great day. Uh, my buddy Jeff has just been a rock star. Caught two walleyes, and they're all pretty good, decent sizes. My buddy Bob from Kelowna caught one. Uh, we didn't get that on video. It was really dark. Uh, but I'll, play, I'll put the pictures at the end of his walleye. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you liked this video and want to see more to come, just like and subscribe. And as always... Stay tuned to the next episode.